These Quezon City residents on board a bus are bound for the QC Memorial Circle. But they're not on a trip. They are part of the more than 1,700 residents apprehended for not wearing or wearing face masks improperly. Gusto namin i-showcase na ganitong karami na huli natin, ganitong karami nagbabiolate sa Quezon City. Average daily cases in the city are now at 240, compared to 80 last month. Unfortunately, I hindi na practice yung minimum health standard, no? kaya nagkakaroon ng hawahan. Ano? The city also recorded 13 cases of the UK variant and 4 cases of the South African variant. To date, 19 areas in Quezon City are under special concern lockdown. This is now the case for most metro Manila cities, with LGUs reverting to restrictions similar to those implemented a year ago when lockdowns were implemented. Community quarantine is hereby imposed in the entire of Metro Manila and in other areas. Back then, the country only had 600 cases. One year after, infections have climbed past 600,000. Still, the health department says the country's COVID-19 response has improved. Uh, nakikita natin na ang ating mga health care workers, mas sanay na sila kung, at gamay na sila how to handle our COVID-19 cases. But with cases reaching new highs, uniform curfew hours of 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. will once again be implemented in Metro Manila for two weeks, beginning Monday, March 15. Siguro dahil naging lax na rin po itong ating mga kababayan, COVID fatigue, no? talagang hindi na nagbamas, talagang maliwala na sa kanila, plus kumalo pa itong variant na ito. Okta Research expects daily cases in Metro Manila to reach at least 4,000 by the end of the month. As for infections nationwide, It could go higher than that, an average of maybe 4,500 cases, and in the whole Philippines, uh, maybe 6,500 or 7,000 at least. They also flag increasing transmission inside homes with more cases of minors testing positive for the virus. We have anecdotal data on uh, increased transmission in households, but what we have seen is that there is definitely an increase in transmission or infections for minors. They now call for additional restrictions, such as limiting capacities in establishments and offices. For News 5, JC Cosico, We Are One News.